Hello, my name is Virginia and I'm a graphic designer and it's been a minute since the last time I posted a video here on YouTube. The reason why I'm back here and trying to, to do this kind of different format is because uh, I've been going through a lot of changes lately, uh, personally and on my career, and I keep listening to people talking about documenting a journey or documenting your journey. And if you see the tagline, or at least the actual, the current tagline of my channel is a graphic design journey. I, I should like something I, I've been wanting to do is share more of what I do. Uh, I have tried writing a few blog posts, um, specifically two, and that doesn't work because writing takes me a long time. And I just want this to be quick, something that I can refer back to, that I can, you know, just watch and see um, where my mind was at, at a specific po point or date. So I think trying to create a video without cuts, which is going to be a challenge, is something that is really going to help me. So this is the first episode, I guess. Uh, and I just want to explain what I'm going to be doing. And as I said, this is this is just going to be a documentation of my journey. This is not going to be trying to give advice or trying to say this is what you should do, but mostly uh, this is what I'm doing, this is what's working and this is what's not. So a couple of things that I wanted to share is, first of all, this idea has come from Sam Laura Brown. So she's a coach for perfectionists, which sounds... Uh, I guess it sounds a bit weird, but I've been listening to her podcast for a while and a couple of months ago I joined her membership, which is kind of like going to the gym, but for the brain, I guess. So I'm just on this membership with, I think, I, I don't even know how many people we are in there. And every weekend she shares or she goes live and she talks about the topic or does a Q&A or something like that. So I've been learning a lot from from this membership. I'm not trying to sell it in any way because also it's it's closed at the moment, I think. But she talks a lot about documenting your journey. And one of the things uh one of the things she does in her podcast is share life updates. So this is what happened in July, this is what happened in June, etc. And I find that really helpful because she also talks how she goes back to some of these um, episodes and just listens to them to, to get surprised, I guess, as to how she has changed over the, the months. And I was trying to find out, like, I, I like to write privately, not like blog posts are a different thing. But going back to my journals and trying to find out, oh, this is what I was thinking of. Like, it's very hard because on a journal, there are a lot of things that don't make sense or things that are not really that important. So I thought this could be a good way, um, even though I'm, my plan is to share things as they, as they happen. So, for example, if I'm working on a project and I'm struggling with something... Or if I learn something new, I just want to uh, turn the camera on and just share it. But I also want to do kind of um, summaries of things that I, I've been trying, things I've been learning. So it's going to be very relaxed. It's going to be hopefully um, without any cuts. And... Yeah, so that's that's what I'm up to. So she also talks about documenting versus creating content. And when I was trying to put content up on YouTube, I was struggling because I was doing these videos. I was writing scripts. I was, I mean, I, I think I did six or something like that. But it took me a long time to prepare for the video than to film it because I was cutting every two seconds. And then editing was also quite... Uh, slow. So documenting, in the other hand, is going to be much more relaxed as I'm doing right now. And hopefully, if it doesn't help anyone, it's going to still help me because I'm going to be watching it back and I'm going to be just learning from what I said 
a few months ago or a few days ago. And the other thing uh, that kind of brought me to do this is I recently watched a video, I think it was yesterday, by The Future, which is a, well, it's a... So I was saying that I watched this video by The Future. So Crystal, he's the, I guess, the head of this uh, YouTube channel and brand. And he was talking about being an expert. Well, it's actually a compilation of what it is to be an expert from different interviews and different talks uh, from him. And he was saying he doesn't consider him an expert, which is funny because I guess whoever here is a graphic designer and knows him might consider him an expert. So he doesn't consider him himself an expert. And he says the, well, the only thing he does is he just shares what he's learning. So he just reads books on topics that he likes and, and then he shares what he's learning. So that's the other thing I want to do. So I'm listening to podcasts, I'm watching videos, I'm doing all these things and I'm getting inspired. But 24 hours later, I, I just forget about it. So I just want to make sure that I record all these learnings so I can actually use them for something. Because even if I only share them, they might be helpful for someone else or for me when I watch it again in the future. I have a list here of all the things that I wanted to say. And I just cut because I was looking at it for too long. <laughs> so the other thing is, this is kind of a personal development tool as well for me. Um, my memory is not always great. So sometimes I might forget that I was going through a process. Like when, I go, when I'm going through a process, if it's a challenging one or if it's a good one, I'm in the moment and I'm suffering it or I'm happy enjoying it. And then a few months later, I don't even remember. <laughs> so maybe that this is a good way to actually you know, embrace the process a bit more because I can go back to it and be like, oh, I was struggling at that point and that's exactly how I'm feeling now. And I completely forgot that I went through that and I that I kind of accomplished whatever I, I had set my, my mind to. So just to help, uh, it's, it's personal development. It's, it's one tool for personal development which I hope is going to help me. And the other thing is I lately I've been very willing to share, I guess. So I've been sending a lot of audios on WhatsApp to, to some friends and family. Um, I used to hate it, and I, I still hate when somebody calls me or calling people. I, I just don't like it. But sending these audio files, I'm basically doing the same that I'm doing right now, um, just without the camera or the camera lens pointing at me but I think it has helped me or at least in the last few days that I've been going through something um, challenging for me uh, just talking about it with my phone really I know somebody listened to it listens to it after but just talking to the phone and saying this is what's going on this is how I'm feeling this is what I'm thinking or maybe this other thing just by saying it, it has helped a lot. And then also by having someone on the other end actually answering and saying, oh, but why do you think, or this is what I'm sensing. It, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a way to help us. I guess that's why coach therapy and all these things work. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. Like, I just want to document my journey. I just want to film myself on different days doing different things it's not going to be always talking to the camera um because for example one of the things that i've been wanting to do for a while i bought for my birthday one month ago an ipad pro and i want to learn how to use it i want to learn to draw and some sometimes i i just find it easy so i just sit and do it but sometimes i'm struggling because i'm a perfectionist so if i don't have enough time to make it perfect i'm like oh, you know i'm not gonna use this 15 minutes to do this because it's not going to be perfect. So that's some of the things I want to share as well, the struggles. I have found that it really helps me when somebody's sharing theirs. So, yeah, I, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. 
I think I'm gonna stop talking now because otherwise I'm gonna have to make lots of cuts. So yeah, I'm just gonna share my journey, hope it helps someone, and if not, I know it's gonna help me. So thank you so much for watching if you are still here, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!